Hey guys, this is Crystal High Queen. Welcome to my channel. So today we'll do a Twin Flame Collective reading. This is going to be especially for the Divine Masculines. We will see what is going on with the Divine Masculine with the Full Moon energy. Um, we have a Full Moon in Gemini on the 27th and 28th. Um, so that energy is really affecting the Divine Masculines. Um, you know, the Twin Flames. This is for the Twin Flames who are in 3D separation. There has been no communication since quite some time. Um, but it is not gender specific, guys. It's just energy. Divine Masculine could very well be a woman. Divine Feminine could very well be a man. It doesn't matter. It could be two men, two women. It, it really doesn't matter what gender you are. It's just energy. So take it how it resonates with you. In case you feel guided to reach out to me to get personal, deeper insights into your own situation, all my details are given below in the description box, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all your love and support. I truly appreciate it and I love you. Thank you. Okay, guys, so let's see what is happening with the Divine Masculine. One card for the Divine Masculine, one for the Divine Feminine. And the middle card will be the mutual energy between the both of them. Something that they are both trying to work on at this time. So let's see. One card for the Matrix Twin, please. Divine Masculine. What is happening with the Divine Masculine? Queen. Divine Feminine. Wow. So I feel Divine Masculine is really focused on the Divine Feminine. Um, she's coming up as the Queen of Wands here, the Nine of Pentacles, somebody who's really financially stable, somebody who's very bold, independent, very sexy, somebody who just lights up the room, right? So, and with, with all the red here, this, this shows a lot of passion. This shows that he knows that the divine feminine is open up for true love like she's opening up or she has opened up the true love she's not going to accept anything lesser um with all the eight eight i feel um he could see that the divine feminine is also financially very abundant she's very stable established when it comes to her finances stability right so yeah, okay, let's see. One card for the Divine Feminine, the spiritual twin, please. What is happening with the Divine Feminine? Reprogram your soul, release, raise, and reclaim. Okay, so I feel this is a lot of subconscious work going on. Divine Feminine reprogramming her subconscious mind to, um, to really attract a lot of abundance, stability, or success like really upgrading herself on the subconscious level because that is what she's trying to manifest um, oh yeah by the way just for the, um, just for the sake of the reading guys I'll be calling the divine masculine as he and the divine feminine as she but again gender doesn't matter okay so yes that that's what I am getting here that she's really trying to release the old patterns, the old conditioning of her mind. She's trying to raise her vibration because she wants to reclaim what she always deserved, what she was born to do, right? She was born to be abundant. She was born to be powerful and independent. Um, so the Divine Feminine really seems to be pro uh, like pro um, working on her subconscious mind because that's what she's trying to manifest an upgraded timeline a beautiful shift in her world in her life right <clears throat> just really raising her standards and her overall life Up upgradation major upgradation here five five so this could also be that she is currently going through some kind of a transformation which is teaching her to to reprogram her subconscious mind not like if something is not happening in her favor she's learning to accept that it's not happening to her it's happening for her this is the universe's way of pushing her forward of propelling her forward towards the most beautiful abundant life that she can um, like she's been desiring right so yeah so that's the, like on the very base level, she's trying to reprogram her subconscious mind. Wow, okay, 
so let us see and this is not just financial stability i feel with, with the heart here she's trying to really upgrading herself because she's now open to have true love in her life okay this is see again and i feel with with this card here the divine masculine can feel it in his bones that this is what my divine feminine is desiring she wants true love she's not going to settle for anything less he can feel it in her in his bones so yeah okay one card for the mutual energy something that both the divine counterparts are working on at this time or are mirroring to each other what is it one card for the mutual energy between the divine masculine and the divine feminine we have practice self-love nurture your inner child wow we have 10 10 so you know what guys when i see 10 10 <clears throat> it tells like i just quickly immediately i remember 10 of pentacles and 10 of cups right which is a beautiful future together loving future where they where both the divine counterparts are committed to each other marriage wedding long-term relationship whatever so in order to have that i feel subconsciously both the divine counterparts are practicing self-love they are nurturing their inner child they're trying to heal the inner child wounds right they're trying to appreciate themselves more that they're trying to manifest new beginnings for themselves and just really accepting for what things are just it is what it is kind of an attitude right not going against the flow just flowing with whatever the universe is bringing their way and making the best of both worlds basically yeah see surrender dark night of the soul and with with the dove here this is them releasing releasing the fear of uncertainty not fearing to be alone or isolated just really making the best of this opportunity learning the lessons with an open heart and um and an open mind so yeah and i'm not saying that this is uh, you know th this is something that you can see in the divine masculine right now in their 3d physical reality this is something that their higher self is now trying to bring them okay Th this is something wh which is which has already started happening in the energetic realms their higher self is trying to bring this energy to their 3d self right now so this is progress big progress coming in we have 8, 5, and 10. Okay, now let's get some cards for the Divine Masculine. Journey to the Divine Masculine deck. Let's see, what is happening with the Divine Masculine? The Matrix Twin at this time. What's the energy? Walking away. So they, they are walking away. Let's see, what are they walking away from? Hmm. So they're walking away from something to find inner balance, to find, see again, this is like um, wanting to be one with their true self, right? Not ignoring what, um, what they truly are, because as a divine masculine, um, they tend to wear a lot of masks. There's a lot of people pleasing. They want to influence others. So, so they become like others. They forget about their own true potential, own true self. So they could be walking away from such lifestyles, from such um, mental conditioning. That's, that's what they're walking away. And they're walking away... Uh, sorry, they're walking towards true balance, feeling harmonious with their true self okay let's see what is the divine masculine thinking about his divine feminine at this time what's in his headspace desire 
a strong feeling of secretly wanting and wishing for their femininity. Like they can't stop thinking about this. This full moon in Gemini, which is the sign of twins again, and Gemini is ruled by Mercury. Mercury is all about um, communication, speed. So I don't know, something could be escalating in that area, but they are truly thinking in a very desiring way about their divine feminine. Just really, you know, they want her to just, uh, just, just give yourself to me kind of a <laughs> feeling here. Okay, so what is he feeling about his divine feminine? Let's see, what's in his heart space? Heartbreak. Hmm. Chance. Okay, so I feel that they feel, Divine Masculine feels that they have broken your heart in some way. Um, they could have done something more in this connection, but they withdrew themselves. Perhaps they chose another party and they really gave you pain. Whatever actions they took towards you, it, it was just really the final nail on the coffin. So they, they really wish to take a chance towards you, towards this connection. They want to take a leap of faith, right? They, they really don't want to miss out on, on, on this opportunity because there's a lot of grief here. They, they feel very heartbroken and sad about missing this opportunity with you in the past. So they're, they're really thinking about taking a chance here, taking a leap of faith here because they're they're truly desiring you at this time divine feminine okay so let's see what is their what is their confession what does the divine masculine wants to confess hardship okay so they want to confess that their life is not easy at this time they're trying to come out of a, a very difficult situation they're going through some hardships this could be related to their overall life or just you know a relationship with their karmic whatever but there is a lot of hardship here Okay, so what's the biggest blockage for the Divine Masculine? What stops them from taking action towards their Divine Feminine at this time? What is stopping them? What's, what's his biggest blockage? Stalemate. Stuck and stagnant. No growth or development. Okay, so... I feel that's the overall energy of the connection right now. It's just stalemate. There's there's no movement, there's no growth, nobody's taking any action, there's no communication. So perhaps it has been quite some time since you last spoke with them or you were with them. So it's, it's a really stalemate kind of an energy. It, it's a big blockage for them. They don't know what what, what they should do right now in practicality they're, they're truly desiring you they're thinking about you right in their heart they feel sad that they missed this opportunity with you but when it comes to taking action towards you it has been quite some time and they really don't know what they should do right now in practicality okay let's see what's the energy when it comes to their karmic situation Loyal wanted to jump out. Okay. Track. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So perhaps they, they they took an oath that they will always be loyal um to, to their karmic partner. But see, they're trapped in this. Now I don't know, perhaps they had these dreams, <clears throat> these 
visions about having this long-term beautiful life with their karmic partner where they were both growing old still together loving each other each and every day but now it's like they, they feel chained it, it, it's very dark here they feel trapped in this karmic situation so it's, it's really not what they thought it was the grass was not greener definitely on the other side let's see so towards their karmic partner what is happening what's the energy towards his karmic partner trigger hmm so something is triggering the divine masculine something about the karmic is very triggering at this moment let's see and it's really whatever is triggering this masculine about their karmic it's really making them question everything self-critical unreasonable expectations yes yeah, so you see they're really questioning have i been like really expecting too much from this connection have i been unreasonable have i exaggerated um you know the idea of love or is this even love right so they're becoming extremely judgmental of this karmic of this connection that they have with the karmic it's like they're really questioning everything this person could be into piercings like they they um they could have ear like their ears pierced in some way or they are really fond of piercing i don't know okay so let's get one card. What's the intention towards their divine feminine? What is he intending to do towards his divine feminine? Two cards. Warrior. Independent. Wow. So see, I feel the intention here is to become free, is to become independent, is to free themselves from this codependent toxic karmic relationship to become financially stable free and independent so that they can fight for this connection with you divine feminine that is the true intention right now and i feel that they consciously know about this it's not something in their subconscious mind it is subconsciously present in their energy that they want to stand up and fight for this connection awakened warrior of the heart surrendered to ego and struggle reconnected with the heart and the divine has returned to love see so this is consciously present in their energy they want to become free and independent so that they can feel confident enough to offer something solid and stable to you so that they can actually stand up and fight for this connection with you okay so let's get one card for the overall energy what's the overall energy at this time we'll get some tarot cards after this let's see what's the time 18 minutes okay what's the overall energy please divine masculine's overall energy law oh sorry i i i read this a law okay so something could be happening legally in their life low self-esteem negative beliefs about oneself lack of confidence feeling badly about oneself okay so this is somebody who really criticizes themselves extremely judgmental about themselves picking up picking on themselves right oh i don't have good hair i'm losing hair oh my skin is not good i don't look good enough or i'm not um if this is a man i'm not muscular enough i don't have abs right i don't have triceps or biceps i, I don't have enough money i don't have a, a good car i don't know this could be a lot of things okay so yeah but so so this is just coming really from their low self-esteem again they, they need to practice self-love see this is something both the divine um counterparts are working on right now but i do feel that 
practice self-love is more for the divine masculine here because as a divine feminine you have crossed this road you have come quite far away from this this point perhaps in the past you were also portraying this energy but now i feel you have really worked on yourself you have really uh, made a big progress i feel the divine masculine still struggles with this energy right yeah i need to have more money i need to have a house a big car what what, what do i have to offer otherwise so so just really picking on themselves basically okay so one last card what physical actions is the divine masculine going to take towards his divine feminine within the next 30 days or in this Sagittarius season 2023 we have guilt wounds feels sorry uses guilt to manipulate afraid to set boundaries hmm. What physical actions is the Divine Masculine taking towards his Divine Feminine? Willpower. Oh, energetic determination, self-mastery and self-control. So I feel... Ooh... <laughs> Look at that beginnings. I feel the divine masculine, as you as you saw, there's like they are portraying this low self esteem energy, which is which might be coming from their childhood, something about guilt that they faced during their childhood. So that low self esteem is really, um, like it's it's a childhood wound. The action that they will be taking. The most probable action in the Sagittarius season is them working out, really trying to <clears throat> um, like get back into shape, to feel more confident, because they want this beginning with you, Divine Feminine, and they, it, it's like they're starting to prepare themselves to come forward very soon, to have this new beginning, right? Yeah. Okay, let's get some tarot cards. What is happening, please? With the Divine Masculine Matrix Twin. Sagittarius Season Temperance. King of Cups, Ten of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Five of Wands and the Lovers. Hmm. Okay. This King of Cups here. He looks, I don't know, he doesn't, he looks someone who's in pain. Okay, let, let's clarify actually. Page of Wands in the Reverse. Three of Pentacles. Okay. So I feel this is again coming from that trigger that they felt from the karmic. This karmic is really triggering this divine masculine at this time. And that there could have been a lot of gossip around that connection or something, some kind of bad news has come to the divine masculine when it comes to 
this third party three of pentacles and perhaps they work together with this karmic there is a working relationship as well whatever it is it's really triggering them okay so this divine masculine is trying to work alone um now this divine masculine could be watching divine feminine a lot these days on on her social media but the king of cups is again somebody who's ready to offer their cup of love this is somebody who's emotionally balanced this king of cups although looks quite in pain so i don't know if that's the trigger the pain that has come from the karmic here but it's like he has a realization that the divine feminine is not is is not anything like the karmic this is a big realization as well i feel so with the ten of cups the seven of pentacles this is you feeling happy feeling lucky you are just really enjoying the fruits of your labor at this time divine feminine you have come a long way there is still a long way to go but you are very happy and grateful for where you are right now okay and it, it is making you very happy this is you practicing self-love taking care of yourself eating healthy sleeping on time just really maintaining strong boundaries right not letting anybody hurt hurt you emotionally mentally physically or, or like spiritually just this is you just really doing well in your energy five of wands with the lovers let's see justice libra hmm So I feel the Divine Masculine has come to a realization that you are the one who was putting more effort and energy in the past. They want to make amendments, right? They want to make this right because they know with the Justice card here, things have been unjust. They know that they have not been playing fair and it's like that there might have been some kind of a struggle accepting this this fact because of their ego but just immediately i got from these cards that they have realized that they have not been playing fair you have been putting more effort and energy all this time and they really want to make things right they want to do right by you basically Hmm. Um, this could this could also be that after having um, the last time you spoke with this person or the next time you speak with this divine masculine there could be some kind of of a clash like a friendly banter I'm not saying that it's going to be very hateful and very bitter it could be some kind of a friendly banter um, you know a friendly argument that might take place between you and this divine masculine but whatever it is if you keep operating from a place of love and not feel triggered every now and then this could actually play out quite well this this might actually bring a lot of balance to this connection right and this will also make the divine masculine realize that they have not been playing fair so it will really depend on you divine feminine how you perceive this how you respond to this okay let's see what else for the divine masculine matrix twin okay the tower scorpio energy so this looks like some kind of an ego death and really wanting to communicate look at that knight of swords and then eight of wands so this could be to and fro communication coming towards your divine feminine within the next eight days to and fro communication 
because they have gone through some kind of an ego death and it, it's all happening because of this karmic the triggers that they have felt with uh, by being with this karmic it's really putting their ego <clears throat> to death like it's really simmering down and they're really wanting to communicate they could be actually rushing towards you to communicate with you divine feminine within the next eight days um, that's for some of you, not everybody, okay? Depending on where you are. If they're not actually communicating with you, the Knight of Swords is them really thinking about communicating with you. Because Swords is mental, right? Um, it, it's, it's a lot of mental energy. So, yeah, that could also be one thing. But let's see. So, we have Gemini, Scorpio, Sagittarius heavily let's see and also libra yeah what else for the divine masculine yeah see thinking about communication something could be happening with the sun so sun what's happening with the sun right now of course the sun is in sagittarius what else whatever is happening with the sun that energy is affecting divine masculine at this time Sun, I don't, I, I don't remember. I, I heard it somewhere, but I can't seem to recall. Okay, we have Aquarius energy. It could be any air sign as well. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have all the air signs here. Let's see what's happening with the Divine Masculine. Queen of Wands, okay, so this Queen of Wands again, see, Queen, Queen, Queen of Wands, Leo energy, could be any fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, so the Queen of Wands in the upright in this deck is somebody who's very feminine, she's very sweet, she's like, um, it's almost like like she has this earth angel energy, right? She's one with nature. She she, she, she like she just flows. She, this beauty is natural. She very effortless beauty basically. Um, again, she portrays a lot of love, not just love for other people, but self love. She's very passionate. She inspires people, and this is somebody who is just relaxed like she is relaxed she is not chasing she is not having fear or anxiety about her future or uncertain or like there's no um fear of uncertainty of the unknown okay um so yes i feel the universe is talking to the divine feminine through signs and synchronicities through nature she could be really enjoying time to herself just really relaxing and this shows like her skin could be glowing she could be really just um, like radiating this pure love and self-confidence and this is observable like the divine masculine can see this he can observe this he knows so that is why she's so magnetic and attractive he can see it. That's what is making him constantly think about her, thinking about talking to her, right? If not actual communication, just really thinking about talking to her, communicating with her because she's not doing anything. I don't think the Divine Feminine is in any, um, like in any way, in an energy of taking action towards the divine masculine at this time she's very relaxed in her energy and it's it, it could even be making the divine masculine a little bit anxious why is she not doing anything like what has happened what has changed why do i feel like talking to her so much now why is she not doing anything right so the tables seem to be turned tables have turned here okay let's see what else hmm the high priestess in the reverse two of swords 
we have the four of wands high priestess in the reverse let's see hmm. okay so what i'm seeing here is divine masculine seems to be avoiding so this four of wands could be some kind of a home situation that they are in this could be their family this could even be their karmic partner that they are living with right now okay so they seem to be avoiding taking any action against this situation it's clearly not making them happy they feel very defensive and defeated it's like they like there's nothing more left to explore in this connection with the karmic but they keep blocking their intuition i feel things have already come up to the surface to the light they know what is wrong with this karmic connection they know but they seem to be just really avoiding it they feel defeated in some way and it's it's really defeating the purpose here like they are coming back very disappointed like very this is somebody who is coming back very very disappointed very defeated there's nothing more for them to explore to learn they're just very sad right eight of cups in the reverse nowhere else to go but really can't walk away from this kind of an energy so let's clarify why is this energy here we have pisces energy with the high priestess <clears throat> why is this energy here please eight of cups in the reverse what is happening with the divine masculine six of swords Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, it's, it's whatever plans they had, like they have not played out the way they wanted. Their plans have been ruined in this connection. Their work is getting affected by this um, karmic connection. They're not able to manifest abundance um, for themselves at this time and they're really trying to just work alone they could be working a lot not just because they have to work it, it's like they want to distract themselves from feeling too depressed or defeated um, with whatever has happened in their life with the karmic or just overall whatever has happened here i feel divine feminine that something about your eyes the way you look at your divine masculine right it, it, it's like you're not saying anything but then when they look at your eyes they just feel that you know you're saying to them i told you so i told you right even though you have not said anything like that but when they look in your eyes when when they stare at you when they look at your pictures and they look at your eyes that's the feeling they get if she was here she would have told me i told you so you didn't listen you didn't listen to your heart she would have said i told you so so i don't know something about your eyes that could be a very specific message though Let's see, what else for the Divine Masculine? Ace of Wands. Hmm. Ten of Wands. Ace of Cups in the reverse. The Chariot in the reverse. What's the outcome for Sagittarius season? Let's see, what is the outcome? What is he going to do? What is the outcome? Five of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. King of Pentacles. Okay. Hmm. Wow. So, what I'm getting here is 
the divine is helping both the divine counterparts to become free and financially independent and this is happening because the universe is pushing both the divine counterparts to come together in a very abundant and content manner this is a this is a connection where both the divine counterparts will not be codependent on each other in any way they will be independent but they will still be together and that's the healthiest form of a relationship right so with the hierophant the high priest here this is the universe definitely wanting this union between these two twin flames right you could be expecting to hear from this divine masculine divine feminine okay but it, it's it's almost like that the divine masculine will not step up they will not take action until and unless they feel confident within themselves until and unless they feel that they are financially stable enough because it doesn't matter how it looks on the outside or on their social media they are struggling financially okay um the the queen the king of pentacles is somebody who is very loyal to their partner this is somebody who's very rich who has a lot of money in their bank right this is a very good person to work for a very good employer very loyal and stable very nurturing this could be somebody who's a provider a protector so they will not step up or they will not take action towards you divine feminine until and unless they start feeling this energy within themselves they're really thinking about it they're really wanting to communicate but i do feel that it will take some time for, for them to have this financial stability this confidence but trust me the universe is is conspiring to bring you both together and it, it's just not them it's even you divine feminine this is you being prepared to have this union final union this commitment with your divine counterpart just imagine both of you financially abundant and very stable, independent in every way. Just just imagine how beautiful and content that life will be, right? Just so happy. You, you could both be living a very happy, content, luxurious life together without being codependent on each other, just really supporting each other in the best of ways. And just there is no toxicity no codependency just just imagine how beautiful that's the highest version of a relationship and twin flames get that because they have done the work they have done the work on themselves the shadow work right and that's how they become the highest version of themselves and that is when that is the right time, the divine time, when both of them are operating from the highest version of themselves. That's the time they come together and they have this beautiful relationship with each other, right? That's the time. So it happens with twin flames, not with karmics, not with soulmates. It happens with twin flames. That is why this connection is unique. And everybody, not everybody will understand this. So don't even bother trying explaining to them, right? Don't even bother, guys. Not everybody gets to understand this. Not everybody gets to experience this. So yeah, there's that. And again, Page of Swords, constantly looking at you at your social media, Divine Feminine. Perhaps he's just looking at you from afar not really talking to you but thinking about it but really just talk, um just really staring at your pictures stalking you okay so yeah anyway let's get some messages from the divine masculine what messages from the divine masculine please the matrix twin is there anything he wants to say to his divine feminine at this time I still remember our first date. Wish I could turn back time. <laughs> oh, so they're still remembering the first time they met you, they were with you. 
They really want to turn back time and be with you. Even though I am with someone, I don't want to see you with someone else. So even though they are with someone else, they will just not be able to digest the fact that you also went with someone else. So they really don't want to feel that pain. So <laughs> I don't know what, what's, what, what is that? Like you're with someone else, but you can't see your divine feminine go with someone else. I, I don't get it. Um, it, this is just being a little bit possessive, right? I don't know. What is it? <laughs> I don't understand this energy anyway. Okay, what else please? Anything else? I'm finally ending things with my karmic. Gold digger witchcraft. Okay, so so see some I told you something has triggered the divine masculine. It could be the fact that he has understood that she's a gold digger, the karmic, or she has done some kind of a black magic or witchcraft on him to keep him bound to right? So something has triggered the divine masculine here. So they're really wanting to end things with this karmic now. <clears throat> I ran to a karmic because they're easy to handle. You're too high value. So again, Divine Feminine, you have put some really strong boundaries. You have shown that you will not settle for anything less. It really intimidated the Divine Masculine, so they ran to a karmic because they're easy to handle, right? Okay, what else? Seeing you in tears will be the death of me. I just can't handle your emotions. So, see, I feel that they running from you is basically them trying to protect you from themselves they don't want to hurt you in any way divine feminine right like it, it's really going to kill them to see you cry so that's why they run they don't want to hurt you in any way even though it's not the best of ways to deal with things it's just easier for them to avoid and run okay anything else let's get six more cards and then we'll end the reading what else from the divine masculine i know i have messed up everything what should i do now i am lost again i told you they want to but they don't know how to do it they have messed up they know they have messed up bad I know what I'm doing is going to make me lose you, but my pride doesn't let me stop. So the pride keeps coming in between. They know they're losing you, they don't want to lose you, but whatever they do, it makes them lose you. Their pride doesn't let them stop. When you do good in life, it makes me jealous and insecure. So you doing well is them feeling more insecure in themselves, them feeling not good enough for you. That's, I think that's an area that they need to work on. I pretend that I don't give a damn. That's not true. It really does affect me so much. You are about to experience major career shifts very soon. So perhaps they're trying to start a new business or something related to their work or money. They're trying to do something here. This could even be you, Divine Feminine. You could be thinking about changing your job or some, um, like bringing some major shifts or transformation in your career. That could be even you, yeah. Let's get one card, one special message, one last special message. 
from the Divine Masculine at this time. I will hurt you. Please stay away from me. I'm trying to protect you. See? He's trying to protect you, Divine Feminine. He knows that he will not be able to do right by you. He's, he's working on it. But immediately, if you're asking whether or not he will come forward and talk to you, I think he's deliberately trying to hold himself back because he doesn't want to hurt you. Next autumn season, expect miracles. Okay, so... For some of you, this might take at least a year, right? At least, at least a year it might take for some of you for this person to to actually show themselves to you or come forward. I don't like the fact that you have been so right about me all this time. Yeah, so at least a year for some of you for for this divine masculine to show their face. To come towards you to talk to you right let's get one more card what is the next autumn season here what is this talking about seeing you succeed now motivates me to do better in my own oh you know what guys right now this person feels triggered and jealous that you are doing so well so for this shift to happen where they start perceiving it as their own success when you succeed they will start feeling that it's their own success they will start feeling motivated to do better in their own life seeing you succeed right this big shift is going to be a major healing of their childhood wound low self-esteem they will keep holding back from you until until and unless they, they heal this low self-esteem wound. It will take at least a year for some of you. I'm not going to lie. A year might seem like a very long time, but it really isn't. Like, it, it's really not. Do you see? We're already in, like, almost December. Where did 2023 go? Like, how quickly has this year... It, it's just it, it, it just vanished oh my goodness time flies guys really if when you are focused on yourself on your own life you, you just don't know how time flies if you're focused on someone else then each and every hour seems like a year you don't want to be in that energy okay don't focus on what your twin flame is doing focus on your own life live in the present moment enjoy each and everything the universe is trying to bring you that's the key okay guys this was your reading hope it resonated and helped you in some way much love and light take care bye